Hi guys, in this quick tutorial, I'm going to be showing you exactly how you can delete Shopify store without paying or how you can close Shopify store without paying. Now, this is a quick and simple video. So all you need to do guys, you want to watch this video till the end so that you don't make any mistake in this process and Shopify will stop uh, charging your credit card or like Visa card or MasterCard. Now, what you guys need to do, you want to log into your own Shopify store. Okay, that's the first step. That's what I'm going to do right now. All right, now as you can see here guys, there are multiple ways you can do to remove or to delete your Shopify store without paying, okay? Now I'm going to start with the first method that I use personally, and I'm going to show you guys the second method and the third method, okay? Now as you can see, the first method is clicking on settings at the very bottom left and click on plan, okay? Here where it says plan, click on it. Now as you can see currently, I am on the basic plan, okay? Now, until October 16, I will ch I will be charged like tw uh, $32, okay? Now, I will be charged $32. Now, what if I don't want to get charged? I don't want to use the Shopify store anymore. Now, here is what I do. I just, just scroll down and click on the activate store here, as you can see. Now, then click on continue and then give them a valid reason. For example, I'm not making, I was just test testing Shopify out and then click on continue. And after that, you will ask you again to confirm. And then that's exactly how you can like, it's like you removed your credit card from Shopify. Okay. Now this is this the first method, like I said. Now after guys, you click on deactivate and Shopify will not charge your credit cards um, each month. Okay. That's exactly what I do. Now the second method, as you can see in the help center of Shopify, they say here, like, um, for example, if you are not able to cancel or to remove your Shopify store. Now here is what happens. Now after each filed payment attempt, like your store will automatically become fr fr frozen. Okay, fr frozen. Frozen. I hope I pronounced it correctly. So I'm going to know exactly how this uh, word pronounced. Okay. So as you can see, pronunciation. Frozen. Okay. Frozen. Now which is as good as closed. Okay. So after each times. You will try to charge your credit card, but if they are fi if they filed, then your account is going to become frozen, okay? Uh, which is as good as closed as is. With no action to required, you will not lo longer be charged, or your admin store will be inaccessible, okay? In, in um, yeah, inaccessible. Now that's exactly. And the second, uh, the third method is to contact the team support directly to deactivate your store on your behalf. Now, what you need to do is just need to search on Google for contact, uh, contact Shopify support, and then click here, it says contact Shopify support. And here, you need to tell them here, the robo, you need to tell him how I need to talk to someone. To talk to someone. And then they will um, uh, like uh, direct you to someone to talk to, like a real human that will help you guys close your store on your behalf, okay? Now I would like, I would like help on, uh, mm, on canceling my store, something like this. Then you will, uh, direct you to, uh, to someone to talk to. So that's exactly guys what you need to do and you will be able to talk to, to someone on Shopify and then you will do everything for you so that you can like uh, you will cancel your Shopify store that's exactly what you need to do okay so if you need any help let me know in the comments I reply to every single comment just let me know in the comments exactly what problem you have if you are not able to cancel your Shopify store let me know in the comments and let me like tell me the details and they will help you guys in the comments make sure to drop a like and See you guys in the next one.